Hi, fishy folks. Happy Sunday fun day. Today, chemistry. Well, sort of. Today, we're going to make rapashi. You may be saying to yourself, what in the ever-living bejesus is rapashi? Well, rapashi is a gel premix. So it's basically jello for fish. It's the easiest way to explain. If you ever made jello, you take boiling water, you take the jello powder, you mix it up, you put it in the fridge, an hour later, you have a delicious, delicious treat like cherry jelly, cherry jello, not jelly, jello with whipped cream. Hmm. It's a Jersey Diner thing, so anyway. Rapashi, high quality food. You've heard others talk about it, I've talked about it, you've seen me feed it, but I'm actually gonna make it for you and walk you through the whole process. So, a couple things you need. You need some boiling water. I just took a little tiny thermos from upstairs so the water stays hot. Uh, you need some form of measuring, so you need a liquid measuring cup and some dry measuring cups. And then you need something to put the rapashi in. I like using these little plastic ice cube trays. I got these on Amazon as a uh, deal, lightning deal. Uh, link in the description below to buy these. I forget how much they were, a couple bucks, but they're so easy. I got two. I can make two different flavors. I can make one flavor and have enough for two weeks or one week or whatever. So here's the thing about rapashi. It's very similar. The shelf life is very similar to food for people. Uh, so the directions uh, tell you how long you can leave it in the fridge for and if I was prepared I would certainly be able to uh, to tell you but the uh, in the instructions are pretty easy it is one part powder to two or three parts water the more water you put the longer it's gonna take to cure and when I say cure what you're what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix it and put it in these fancy trays where the link is in the description if you want to buy them um, and then I'm gonna put in the refrigerator and then I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like show you how it comes out show you how I feed blah 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 so I have a couple of jars here from Rapashi I have many different flavors I ordered from Lisa at Super Cichlids check out supercichlids.com use code SHIP the number four and free ship for free for free shipping Anyway, I uh, called her up and said, hey, I'm going to order some rapashi. What do you recommend? And she started naming all these different flavors. So uh, I have morning wood. <laughs> and here I also have bottom scratcher. And both of these are really for plecos and, well, this is really for pleco, but bottom scratchers for uh, plecos and other bottom feeding animals. I'm going to put some in the tank with the shrimp. I'm going to put some obviously with all the plecos and the quarries. Uh, the other flavors I was going to make today, and I like to mix by the way, you can mix them. Uh, Community Plus, which will obviously be for all the guppies, and Spawn and Grow, which also will be for the guppies. The last batch I made that you probably have seen me feed, I mixed Morning Wood and Spawn and Grow. Um, if you check out supercichlids.com search for Apache you'll see all the different uh, flavors that they have I call them flavors I don't care what you call them but it's a flavor to me so here we go let's make some Apache I'm gonna use uh, bottom scratcher and morning wood and I'm gonna um, <clears throat> use one part powder two parts water so I'm gonna use a third of a cup of powder and two-thirds of a cup of water so take my fancy r2d2 measuring cups that's a half maybe i'll do a half yeah let's do a half so we'll do one cup of water half cup of powder we're going to open the morning wood brand new as you can see and these measurements are how shall we put it um, loose, loose measurement. So that's how much morning wood I have measured out. And then we'll go with the bottom scratcher. Now Rapashi isn't cheap, I'll tell you that. This dish jar was 25 bucks, but it lasts a long time and it's really good food. And the other thing about Rapashi that's nice, it doesn't really break down like if you put, you know, pellets in and you come back the next day, they, they might be all fuzzed up or cloud the water. This doesn't, it doesn't break down. Now, this is a little bigger. I'm gonna put it over the, my measure, my bowl, my mixing bowl. 
so I don't spill it all over my cart. All right, let's put that, let's put the lid on. I always like to put the lids on when I'm done so we don't forget. There we go. All right, there's the rest of the Apache. Now here's where you kinda gotta be quick. Boom, pour that in. Now I need one cup of water. I have my measuring cup here, which I'll put here so you can see. And I have, imagine that, one cup of boiling water. So half a cup of uh, the powder, one cup of the water, and you stir. I'm just gonna keep this here. Now here's the thing with this, it smells disgusting. It's that simple, it's gross. I can't even imagine eating it. No, I'm not gonna eat it. Or will I? Anywho, we're gonna mix it up. I'll show you what it looks like. Now, to be honest, if I had more water down here, I would pour a little bit more water in because I'm gonna put it in these molds and you want it easy to pour, but you gotta work quick, especially if you want molds. Look, that's what it looks like, disgusting. If you had smell-o-vision, you go, oh, that's gross. I'm gonna take these fancy molds, I'm gonna start pouring it in. And uh, it helps to have a spatula with you like I have. Now, you don't have to put it in mold, you can just make it in a, you know, a Rubbermaid container or a Tupperware container and put it in the fridge and just use a spoon to get pieces out. If you like. I thought these things were pretty cool and then I could drop an equal amount in tanks. Now like I said, you gotta work quick because it's already starting to harden into jello. So, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna put that over there. And so I got almost nine cubefuls. Next time I gotta use more mix, but I just want to make a quick mix. Now, this we don't want this to go to waste, right? You see that? I'm just gonna put this in a tank, stand by. All right, fishy folks, cleaned it off into a tank with the uh, Green Dragon Pleco babies, so they'll eat that up. Uh, all right, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to put this in the fridge and I'll come back and show you. All right, guys, stand by. All right, fishy folks, it is about an hour and a half later and boom, there it is, Rapashi Cubes. In the silicone tray that I got on Amazon, again, the link's in the description below for you to use. You could use a regular ice cream tray, you could use just a regular, you know, Rubbermaid or Tupperware container and just scoop it, scoop it out, you know, by the spoonful if you like. But these seem to be pretty, uh, pretty convenient for me. So, you know, you just kind of twist it and boom, take a square out. I'm gonna feed now. Would you like to watch? I know you would. Stand by. All right, fishy folks. I'm here at the L144 Blue Eyed Lemon Pleco tank. You can see uh, there's quite a bit of snailage and uh, some good looking plecos that I'm frightening. So I'm gonna take one of these cubes. I'm just gonna simply drop it in, got a big splash. Then I'm gonna walk away because, uh, you know, these guys are a little skittish and uh, I come back and there will be uh, puckles, or at least one, all over it. I got some uh, some smaller pieces. You can see down here, uh, the snails and uh, actually the guppies are kind of interested. This was the residual uh, from the spatula that I used to mix the batch down here. You can see one of the uh, green dragons is chilling, eating it up. The other two are just kind of waiting for their turn, I guess. Um, but yeah, Rapashi is some good stuff. Uh, today's lesson about Rapashi is really for Plecos, but you know, the, the other uh, flavors they have, specifically for, you know, community or spawn and grow, or they, I have a red one, you know, for redfish. I have a goldfish. Uh, a goldfish version that uh, I'll probably make and feed to Goldie. 
But, uh, you know, the Goldfish version is probably good for cichlids, too. So it'll probably go to, to uh, Hannah and Land. Not that they need any more food, but, you know. All right, fishy folks. I was chilling, talking about the green dragons. Looks like one of the uh, lemon pluckos is moving in. Let me grab another small piece right here. And uh, see, we're gonna put that. I was gonna put it in this tank, but those guys are really small. So let's go put it in another tank. Let's put it in this tank. This tank has uh, four or five albino bristle nose and uh, this is a breeding for profit tank so there's bristle nose there's snails and of course the red magenta guppy don't forget use promo code world cup one for ten dollars off your purchase at michael's fish room all right fishy folks we got some guppies interested. We're gonna go back and see if a pleco has star. Oh yeah, look, stand back here. He's all over it. He's all over it. Like deliciousness on bacon. All right, fishy folks, that's it for today. Hope everyone had a great, has a great weekend, had a great weekend and a good Sunday fun day. And uh, everyone uh, watch the World Cup. Go Belgium. fishy folks happy sunday fun day to you it's about 197 degrees outside this whole weekend and uh, i decided i'm going to do a video in the fish room where it's about 198 degrees all right let's start over <clears throat>